while I was using a pearl grabber in the back of the dashboard trying to grab hold of a wire um, it just happened to touch the key barrel and the um, indicator stalk and because I'd forgotten to take the battery off I started to get some sparks. Now a friend of mine who also has a Land Rover told me that he had this problem. Um, so it looks like that the indicator stalk is live and obviously the barrel is um, neutral. So to prevent any problems, I mean I've not had any problems so far, the horn still works, the indicator still works, um, but to prevent any future issues I'm going to replace this um, indicator stalk. They're only about 10 to 15 pounds depending on which site you go for. So, um, and apparently it's a fairly quick and easy job, but we shall see. First thing you've got to do, take the cover off the steering wheel, and then take the steering wheel off, so that we can get access to the indicator stalk mount. Uh, on this particular Defender, it is a 22mm socket. Go, leave the nut on a little bit and before you take the wheel off make sure it's in the wheels are in the dead ahead position um, this wheel was put back on um, when the wheels were not in the dead ahead position so this is why the steering wheel is currently on the cock um, the wheels are now in the dead ahead position so when I take it off and put it back on again it should be fine now on the actual steering wheel itself it says use extractor tool, do not use a hammer to remove the wheel. Now I think that's if you're going to try and bash it, but I think if you waggle it just gently and pull it off and the nut will stop the thing from smacking you in the face. Okay, well, that's how you take that off. Don't forget, Turn off, take the wheel off, Always put the nut and the washer back on, unless it becomes a problem, just so you know where they are, where they belong. Something's not right there. There we go. This is the replacement part that I bought. It's from Brit Part, but it could be anything. Um, this particular one is from JGS 4x4 um, and the part number for my particular model of Land Rover Defender is PRC 3875. So, as you can see this is the, the part. As it turns out these three screws over here uh, or the three bolts, screws, whatever you want to call them, uh, just for holding in this stalk, so um, this stalk can come out without disconnecting the cable, which makes it a lot easier. Um, this little mini stalk here is held in by a washer nut, um, so loosen that and that should just drop off the bottom. And be aware, there is actually a key in the steering column so that the um, indicator stalk mount gets into the right place. So don't bash it on or else you'll break the plastic key in the, um, in the stalk mount. Once you've got the um, keys lined up and it, the um, stalk mount on the steering wheel as much as it'll go. Tighten this screw back up. Don't over tighten it or else you'll thread the bit of plastic behind it. So uh, just be aware of that. 
Um, as long as this plate is secure, then you're good to go. Now on this stalk, there appears to be a key here. I'm not entirely sure where that's got to go. Let's have a look. So on the back of the old one, where it gets mounted, I can't actually see anywhere that it's supposed to key in, but I can see a wear mark. So, I'm not sure what that's all about. So, at least we know there's no key for that, so I'm not going to worry about it. screws so tighten these screws up now these are quarter inch um, spanner on this particular make and model You just need to do these screws up tight enough so that when you operate this lever the whole thing doesn't move any any tighter than that and you're liable to thread them again right, so the next bit to install is the um, fog lamp stalk which get the nut out of the way slide the thin bit in, pull the small bit of thread through, not back on. It's quite a thin washer nut, so be careful not to cross thread it. Just nub it up. Hopefully you might have the right size spanner for this. There we go, this should be tight enough. Grommet back on. Indicator. Uh, label back on. Reconnect the new uh, stalk connector into the old socket. Um, it's probably going to be quite stiff um, because I haven't taken the whole dash out. This is this might be quite um, a mission to get it in. Oh, well, see how we go. On the back of the steering wheel, you'll notice that it should have these two um, metal prongs on it. Um, and they line up in the um, two slots on uh, the top and bottom of this little plastic insert. Now this can swing around and I was looking at it and I noticed that it is, it is definitely keyed for some reason. On the left hand side there is a little bit of plastic sticking out, whereas if we look on the other side there is not. Now I'm not entirely sure why but after watching other people videos um, such as Britannica Restorations, the link of which will appear in the bottom of this video, um, it says that this should be always on the left hand side in the 9 o'clock position. Um, this little blue plastic thing here which seems to just drift around on its own is actually part of the uh, indicate a self-cancelling system. Now this little tab here has to be on the left for it to work properly uh, which I'll now demonstrate. So I'm going to indicate right and then you're steering the wheel to the right so that's 90 degrees and then as we come back to a dead ahead position the indicator is cancelled. If 
this is mounted the wrong way around and it can only be either in the three or the nine o'clock position because of the steering wheel tabs. Um, if we then indicate right again and we turn right so you're turning 90 degrees again which is quite hard um, and then come back to the dead head position the indicator is still indicating right. To cancel the, the right turn you have to turn this approximately 95 to 100 degrees. So we can see by that that this tab has to be in the 9 o'clock position for the self cancelling to work properly. And we'll do that again. So we're turning right and you can feel a little click as it goes that way and then it'll cancel straight away. There we go. When doing up the, uh, the nut on the steering wheel all the information I can find says that it should be at 43 newton meters. So I'll do the best I can with my torque wrench. Right, there we go, that's 42. I'll do a little less than 43, just because I think that's bloody tight enough as it is.